Hi, this is Mark with Mark A. Crew, or just Mark A. Crew. I'm going to talk to you today about building a macro that solves a problem. Contains in list. Altrix supports contains, but there have been posts to community asking, how do I find out if a field, example this description, has a match to one or many terms that we'd like to go and find. So instead of writing contains field one flow or contains field one flea or whatever the term list might be, that we could go through these descriptions and be able to find out how many times it matches to a set pattern. So what we'll do today is break that up into a couple of different exercises. I'll break those down into videos and post them to YouTube, where we solve the problem, start talking about a macro to solve the problem, finish off that macro with uh, interface connections and answers for the exercise, and then do whatever finishing touches might be necessary to be able to bring that macro to life. So we start off with a formula, and this is the type of formula that I suggested, was a regex count matches, where we're looking at a description field, and we're looking for FLO followed by a space, or FLE followed by a space. It could be after that, you put in an OR symbol here for regular expressions, uh, XYZ whatever it is that you're looking for, and it could be X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Uh, the uh, execution of this then would allow us to be able to say, oh, FLO wasn't found because it didn't have a space, but FLO space one, two, three was found, and FLE was found as well. That seemed like a pretty straightforward way for me to solve the problem. Another user uh, had commented back to that, not liking that solution and wanting to do something more like this. You would put into a text list uh, your list of values, parse them out, and do a find and replace to be able to go and find the values. Either of these solutions, whatever makes more sense to you, would work. But what if there was a macro? And that's what we're going to be looking at in our next video. But what if there was a macro that allowed you to say which field you would like to search, in this case, description, what do those target terms look like, and you would just put in here your list of values, say FLO, space, FLE, ABC, one, two, three. And uh, these spaces are important, so this would only look for space, one, two, three, or space, ABC. And then you could define what your delimiter looked like. And in this case, the delimiters are commas. Are you looking for case insensitive or case sensitive? And if you're not, you don't care about the capitalization, you can check case sensitive. Do I want to let all of my records come through on output? Or do I only want to find those that don't match the lookup or that do match the lookup and be able to run that and be able to get only the records that match the criteria? to come through this process. So if you're interested in seeing how the macro is built, we'll show that to you uh, in upcoming videos. If you're not interested in that, you'll be able to find this uh, macro. I'm going to post that out to the Altrix gallery, and I will call it contains in list when we're done. Have a great day.